My name is Shreya Sarkar. My friends call me Tutu. I'm from Bangladesh and I'm a student in Bayro University, Kano. My year of admission was 2016 and my department is Telecommunication Engineering under the Faculty of Engineering. Being the best student in department is something I didn't expect uh, like I would be. It's not among my goals but it feels nice. I won't lie. It, uh, it's something that everyone would want. But this is not secondary school, uh, so there's nothing like first position or second position. So don't I? I never actually. Uh, I don't study in order to be uh, the best or to in order to be one of the great ladies. Although it feels good, uh, just I make sure that whatever I do, I give it the best. And if it turned out to be the best in the department, so be it. Uh, so I just have to work hard, and that's it. <laughs> What? My secret formula for studying? This is my secret formula for studying. Always make sure you jot down important points that are given in class. That's just it. Concentrate in class, jot down important points. If you think writing makes you better, then better write it out. Whenever you write something out, it always stays with you. Well, but human being dif uh, differs from one another. So maybe my own di method might be different from someone. And I believe in the fact that don't study hard, study smart. After all, I am smart as a fox, you know. Oh. Okay, my biggest academic challenge. Oh, I feel like crying. Let me get this tissue. <laughs> okay, yeah. My biggest academic challenge was electronics in level 3. And at first, this course seemed so easy, so simple. Like in the class, every time they teach, uh, it's easier but then towards the mid semester I understood that that was the course that was giving me more difficulty and I just knew that I had gone the first step at that moment uh, by recognizing that it's the difficult course I'm having even though most students didn't complain uh, about the course at that time so I knew I needed help and I just went and uh, looked for my friends that could help me and they put me through I was glad and the exam was the hardest exam any student in our batch if you ask them of the electronic exam He'll definitely, he'll definitely say that it was the hardest exam the person has ever wrote. But something good was that I finally, whenever a challenge is coming towards you and you recognize it at the right time, that's it. <laughs> you have won it already. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. The smartest academic decision I've ever made was to make sure I don't depend blindly on the lecturers. I went out and found my friends because a friend can understand you much better. You attended the same class and definitely the weak points would be known by them. Sitting in Nigeria's academic environment wasn't so difficult for me as I was brought up here. Uh, and since my primary school, since I've been here, Nazari school even, uh, it wasn't so difficult but what I didn't like in the academic system was definitely the ASU strike. I'm so sad. Which I experienced recently when I was in the university. Oh, being part of the STEM EEP program really helped me indeed. I, I got the experience of doing practical work. In fact, even in the solar plant, uh, there were others fiber. They worked with fiber, which is uh, related to my field of study, which is telecommunication. And I was opportune to be in a competition with my team. And we won that competition. We won a sum of 1 million naira. It's not even about the sum. It's about winning in all the great 20 universities that are here in Nigeria so we won among them and it was fun working on the project because it was related to my field automation and stuff about the foreigners hostel now let me break this egg it's called the foreigners hostel but it is not a foreigners hostel really because uh, there is no difference between us and the people in the other rooms the only difference is that we get to be four in our room while the other rooms they get to be six ah interesting and we even have squatters in our room. Let me, I can't zip my mouth right now, so let me even say it. Uh, we have serious water issues that's everywhere. And so is for foreigners. They collect a huge sum of money for the room, but nothing is good about it. Trust me, it's better to take a normal room. Say no more. So, electricity problem, water problem. But now with the solar, the electricity problem is good. 
and my roommates are really nice uh, they get to especially my roommate Aisha she get to prepare nice food that I get to eat and I love her and Sally and Sumba they are just so amazing okay this is a very interesting question I I do know how to speak and I also hear native Nigerian language especially Hausa I'm very good with it and there are times that people will just come and say like um Tafio Grain Amutani Tere Tapia Yawa you know that kind of stuff. I just picked house I didn't I okay whatever uh, so yeah I've handled it pretty much well it has been funny for it has been really 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 funny for me whenever I hear somebody talking about me I don't take it in a in a bad way it's something we do even us uh, that's human nature so just take it all cool yeah <laughs> You know you're a first class woman for asking that question. <laughs> okay, those are my favorite BK slogan. I love BK. What I love about BK is this. Oh, what is going on here? What am I doing? I'm preparing to go to the street lights and study. Yes! And this this is prevention for mosquito people. That's what I love about BK. We need to study no matter what the circumstances is. On the other hand, what I dislike about BK is still this. Why do we have to go under the street light when we have abandoned classes? Please open the classes for us. The mosquitoes will finish biting us and get all the bloods out of our system. Mosquito. Excellent question. Give me a minute. What? I was just counting the number of times I experienced ASU strike. Just say every year since when I was in the UK. Seriously, ASU.